people who are looking for His goodness. So today I ask you, what are you looking for this year? You know, if you get up in the morning, like I was saying earlier, and think, oh man, I don't want to go to work, and i got all these problems, and I don't feel like cleaning this house. You're using your faith. You're just using it in the wrong direction. You're going to draw in negativity and doubt and, and tough things. But if you can just shake it off and get up in the morning and say, God, I thank you for this day. Thank you that I'm alive. Thank you that your mercy surrounds me. I'm surrounded by your favor. If you'll get up and start the day off on faith, in faith, what's going to happen is you're going to draw in the good things of God. I encourage you right here at the start. Let's, like I say, let's just open our mind and say, God, we're expecting you to do something new in 2012. We're letting go of what didn't work out in 2011. Listen, don't take any baggage from yesterday into today. I know people that are still mad at somebody from 20 years ago. That person's not even alive. They're dead and gone, but they're still, they're still upset. You know what? That's going to poison your life. If you're going to live in victory, you've got to let every day be a new beginning. Listen, each day is a gift from God. We can never get this day back. Life is way too short to live in angry, offended, mad at your neighbor, mad at somebody that cut you off in traffic, or even this, mad at yourself. I know a lot of people, they can forgive others, but for some reason they can't forgive themselves. They tell me, Joel, you don't know what I've done. Listen, nothing you've done is too much for the mercy of God. You'll never receive God's best if you go around feeling guilty, condemned. You're not supposed to go through life feeling wrong on the inside. We've all made mistakes. But some people have a negative recording playing in their mind all the time. It's called our internal dialogue. They don't even know it's playing, but all through the day there's things like, I'm slow, I'm clumsy, I'm not attractive, I can't do anything right, I'll never succeed. That's going to keep you from God's best. You need to change that recording today. All through the day, you need to be saying, I'm redeemed, I'm forgiven, I'm strong, I'm talented, I'm creative, I'm disciplined, I'm focused. Some of you, if you just make that change, your life would go to a new level. You cannot go through life being against yourself. You already have enough people against you, don't be against yourself. You may have made mistakes, but God's mercy is bigger than any mistake. And see, sometimes, sometimes... We would never, most of us would never walk up to the person sitting next to us and say, man, you don't look good today. Why did you wear that? Or why, why? We wouldn't do that. We would not criticize somebody else. But do you know we criticize ourselves? We go through in our mind, we're thinking, man, I'm so unattractive. I don't look good. When you criticize yourself, you're criticizing God's own creation. Be happy with who God made you to be. You may not be all you should be, but you're not what you used to be. You're growing. You're changing. God's working on each one of us. Let go of all the baggage from the past. Start off each day grateful, expecting to have good things. And, you know, don't, don't tell yourself as well that, you know what, I've, made, I've got too many faults. I've got too many weaknesses. God could never use, you, use me. I could never fulfill my destiny. Now, the other day, a, a, a few weeks back, I did a, a sermon on the different people that God used. You know, God didn't use perfect people. He used ordinary people to do extraordinary things. And sometimes, if you don't watch it, the enemy's called the accuser of the brethren. He'll remind you of everything wrong with you. Man, you can't be blessed. You still got this or that. or You, you did something wrong last week. You got to get rid of those accusing voices. Let me tell you about some of the people God used in the Bible. Jacob was a cheater. David had an affair. Noah got drunk. Paul was a murderer. Jonah ran from God. Miriam was a gossip. Mary was a worrier. Thomas was a doubter. Gideon was insecure. Sarah was impatient. Elijah was moody. Moses stuttered. Zacchaeus was short. Abraham was old. And Lazarus was dead. <laughs> Here's my question today. Why can't God use you? What's your excuse? Why can't you do something great? Too many times these accusing voices are telling us all that we're not. Do you know what? You've got to just shake it off and say, God, I'm growing. I'm learning. I'm going to become everything you've created me to be. Come on, let's get rid of any baggage from yesterday. Whether it was 20 minutes ago or 20 years ago. Forgive the people that did you wrong. Let go of what didn't work out. Today can be a new beginning. If you'll let it go, 
But here's the thing. You can't receive the new if you don't let go of the old. God said he'll give you beauty for your ashes. One place it says God said I'll pay you back double for the unfair things that have happened. But unless you let go of the ashes, you'll never receive the new. So right now, today, February 3rd, 2012, let's just draw that line in the sand and say, we're starting fresh, fresh and anew. We're going to get ready. We're going to make room for God to do some new things. We're going to forgive others. We're going to forgive ourselves. We're going to let go of disappointments, what didn't work out. Listen, if your plans didn't work out, that just means God has something better. I've learned... You know, sometimes you've got to come to your closed doors before you ever get to your open doors. So when you get to a closed door, don't get all disappointed. God has something better. You're just one step closer to being where God wants you to be. So today I'm going to ask Steve to make this declaration of faith in a song. And let's just all say it by faith. We're not going back. We're moving forward. We're letting go of all the negative things. And we're, we're starting 2012 off in expectancy. Expecting God to do something amazing. Amen.